that Ricky Arnott, everybody, from our Young Talent Time final few years, actually. Mm. You were there at the end of the oh, run. Oh, yes, the last year of... of um, from 1988 to, through to... 88 to 89. 88 yeah. to 89. Sensational. Yeah. And, Ricky, I, I'd like everybody to see you on Young Talent Time because... Um, and, and we'll have a little bit of a clip here and then we'll talk about those days when you were on the show. This is Ricky Arnott, ladies and gentlemen, singing one of her beautiful, beautiful ballads. Do you do people because you you've grown up now, of course, and and uh, you when you were on Young Talent Time, how old were you? About I was eleven. Eleven. Yeah. Do people still recognise you now? Uh, they they have a bit of trouble. Do they? Yeah, they're sort of you know they're looking down as if to say, "What are you doing? You can't be grown up." <laughs> <laughs> but of course, you did grow up, and you went. After Young Talent Time, you toured around uh, performing in, in different yeah, places? Yeah, I did um, a few guest appearances here and there and mm. um, worked at a uh, production company for a couple of years. So, mm -hmm. Yeah. And still in your bones? Yeah, still in my bones. Because, yeah. I mean, you're a gorgeous singer, as everybody just saw. And But dancing was a forte for you too, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, I've sort of um, concentrated on that more um, in the last few years. I've... Mm. Um, gone back and forth from um, Australia and Japan, dancing in hotels and theme parks and all that sort of you thing. Like so, that? Yeah, I love I love the travelling thing, yeah. Well, that's the thing. I mean, of course, you were in Young Talent Time in the year when we, we did a lot of concerts, a lot of big concerts, because we I had... really I really enjoyed doing the tours, yeah. yeah. They were a lot of fun. But and as an 11-year-old, I mean, how? what about schooling and things? Um, well, you grow up pretty quickly, you know, you mm. sort of, um, yeah. Uh, it wasn't too hard. Were you good at school? Um, I managed to do quite well, actually, yeah. I was, you know, in my last year of primary school, so it wasn't, mm. you know, very demanding at all, but, um, Because yeah. I, I remember uh, Karen Knowles, one of the early members of Young Talent Time, she was at Ducks of the School. Sally Boyden was, was brilliant at school, too, and a lot of people ask me about Young Talent Time, you know, ha what effect did it have on kids and their education and their general sort of well-being and with the family? Did mm. did it cause any sort of pressures for you in, the f in your family? Not so much in the family because I'm, mm. you know, very supportive and all that mm. sort of thing. But, um, you know, friends at school, you know, it was hard to sort of, yeah, get yeah, to school. Yeah, that's the general and, story, yeah. isn't it? Well, my uh, my son Craig and my daughters too, I mean, that, you know, they weren't even on television, but they copped it just because they were short young kids. Mm. Did I mean, it's a nightmare to, yeah, to have to live with that. But um, it didn't leave any scars? No, no, you, you know, you do what you love doing and yes. the people that are close to you support you, so... Mm. Yeah, it's okay. So what's in the future? For Ricky, aren't it? Uh, well, I'm planning on going overseas shortly, just mm. um, yeah, to travel around Europe and go back to Japan again because I just I love the place. So mm. just just a bit of a holiday. They'd for love now. you there with yeah, your beautiful blonde yeah. hair. Yeah. So to we'll perform see. as well? Um, yeah. Well, I hope so. I'll just um, yeah, get around and meet some people and see what I can drum up. But I'm I'm sure I'll do something. And are you because you know speaking to Natalie Miller a, a show a few weeks ago and she was saying yeah. Uh, you know, songwriting is very important to her, and and she was telling me privately that her experiences in in, in with Young Talent Time and that uh, have helped her with her uh, understanding of songwriting. Are you you writing? Definitely, and yeah. I think you know, as you get older, you know, life experiences, mm. you know, you're sort of more able to to write. So yeah. I, I hope to do that in the future. Yeah. Yeah, terrific, Ricky. Well, it's great to see you again, you and you look absolutely gorgeous, Thank doesn't you. she? And uh, continue to enjoy us on TV One and watching yourself. I'm sure you'll see another show coming up shortly with you in it. Give my very best to your family. I will. Good to see you. Yeah, and you too. And do you like rock and roll still? I love it. Here's the Temptations. You about the program over the years is that it was generally accepted in our industry that the music on Young Talent Time was the best of any of the television shows. And the reason why that was, was the young man that's on my right-hand side right now, Mr. Greg Mills. Hey, Hiya, hello. Greg. Good to see you, mate. And of course, everybody also remembers, Greg, that you started off your career with Young Talent indeed, Time as a team member. I did indeed, 1971, in September, I think it was. And how old were you? I was 14. Well, we're about to have a little look. Thank you. Right now. 
now <laughs> at Greg, the way he looked on young talent time in those halcyon days. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's lovely. It's, it's How do you feel when you see that kind of stuff? Well, because uh, you're a serious musician. I am. Right? A very serious. And that wasn't, really no, that wasn't very serious <laughs> at all. Oh, look, it's fun. I mean, it is yeah. fun. I mean, I was a kid. And yeah. uh, the greatest thing about doing talent time was that you, I always had great fun on the show, always. And uh, we were always mates, which was great, you and I. Yeah. Which, uh, I love the fun aspect and the yes. opportunity to get skilled. Yes. That was the, that was the great thing about the show. But did, did you have, uh, like another guy that was on Young Talent Time, Trevor Heinmarsh? Yes. Uh, hi, Trevor. I hi, hope Trev you're watching tonight <laughs> because he, he sort of thought he was Beethoven for a couple of years there. Well, that's and right. And you actually turned into Beethoven, right? You actually... Uh, I'm not sure we quite that far. <laughs> <laughs> well, I certainly love his music, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And, and Ross Burton, who was the musical director on Young Talent Time and established yeah. a quality of the program, he trained you? Yes, Roscoe taught me many, many skills as a musical director he was uh, sat with me hour on an hour like no it's this and that so the opportunity i had with with roscoe giving me the skills to just uh, and to play with an orchestra yes i mean unheard of and that unheard doesn't of. happen today no. in, uh, anymore does it because most of the music is sampling yep. and it's all, all that like stuff. sequences and small recording studios and so that was the the great thing about the era with a regular you know 15 piece orchestra mm. at your beck and call every week yes to learn on I mean, it's like, uh, <laughs> unbelievable. unbelievable. <laughs> but of course, these days, with modern technology, yeah. a, a lot of the, the, the young people that, that are watching us tonight have the, um, well, they are able to get, say, a big Roland synthesizer yes. and make their own arrangements and make their own orchestras. Yes. In your day, it was like you had to get 25 people into a yes. studio and, yeah. and, and yeah. make all that happen. Do, what do you think of, uh, of the modern music, Greg? Because the music... Look, that I think it's fantastic. Do, like, yeah. I, I have all my Roland the samplers and the small studio and the whole thing, but I incorporate all that equipment when I do special event projects and but, so forth. Special events like what that people well, would have seen? Uh, I do the AFL Grand Final. Fantastic. I've done, done four AFL Grand Final opening ceremonies. I've done stuff like the Grand Prix, the, the uh, soccer qualifier at the MCG, the Bledisloe Cups, uh, the Logies, Variety Television. So I do a wide, a really wide spectrum of, uh, of projects. Mm. And they all need, some need no musicians. It's all boxes. Yes. And some need a 50, 60 piece orchestra. Yes. And it just depends on what the actual gig is. And do you still get the the, the, yeah. the, the butterflies and, yeah, and things I do. happening on big events? I yeah. do. I mean, that's all part of it. You know, yeah. I mean, I think if you're not nervous, you've missed something. Yes. You know, it's just that great anticipation of just the excitement of the gig. And I just can't beat the thrill of just standing in front of an orchestra and just ready to drop the arms. It's just a great yeah. buzz. I love it. Let me say this too, and I know it applied to Ross Burton and I know it applies to you too. You still, when you get the opportunity with a young person to give them a little bit of tuition in, yeah. the, in the musical area and, you know, the, make sure that their notes are right, you, you still go out of your way to do that. Does yeah. that come from your young talent type experience? Oh, you absolutely. Think? You know, yeah. like for me, um, people like yourself mm. gave people like me a chance. Mm. And it's a great uh, opportunity to give back because mm. it's, uh, everyone's got to learn. Mm. Like, someone's got to teach them skills. Time, back in 1971 and 72, we had a superstar on Young Talent Time that everybody around the world just about knew. Yes, Jamie Redfern was Young Talent Time's biggest name. Well, for the first time on television anywhere in the world, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Jamie Redfern family. <laughs> Hello, everybody. We are family. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I've got all my children with me. Well, you better introduce and us. And the wife. <laughs> and the wife. <laughs> this is Haley. Haley's three, or just over three. This is little Taylor, our little dynamite, and she's only 19 months, and of course, my lovely wife, Judy. And is there any singing talent in this family, Jamie? The kids actually do sing and dance all the time, don't they, Jude? Do you, Haley, do you do a little bit of singing, do you? You do, Take don't your you? finger at it. What would you like to sing for us? Can you sing something? Uh, what about one of the Wiggle songs? Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Captain Feathersword. Captain Feathersword. Off you go. Sing one. 
not today. Not today. Now, you weren't that shy. How old were you when you started on Young Talent Time, Jim? Um, I was 12, I think, Sean, wasn't I? D yes, 12, 12 or 13. Yeah, yeah. And then, of course, Liberace came out to Australia yep. and discovered you, mm -hmm. and you and your dad hopped over to... To America. To America. Yeah, and Canada, and, and we toured all over the place, and Las Vegas, and everywhere, and had a great time. You know, Jamie, I have to tell you that I've always been envious of you. I've always been envious of your husband, simply because... I am very tall. He, he had an experience with Elvis Presley that I think just about every entertainer would be envious of. You tell us about it. It was yeah. in Las Vegas, wasn't it, Jim? It actually was in Las Vegas. We were opening in the same... It was the Hilton Hotel, in the same room, and I got to use the same mic, which I was thrilled about. Same mic as same Elvis? Mic as Elvis and he, he'd been there like a week uh, prior to us getting there mm. and apparently he'd seen me on the TV and wanted to meet me and that sort of thing and he sent me a guitar made out of flowers to say good luck and all that sort of thing. It was great and also let me borrow his limousine for two weeks. What did you, I didn't know Elvis was that generous. Yeah, That's yeah, wonderful. Does he take you for drives in limousines, does he? Oh, yeah, <laughs> quite a lot. It no. does. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, Judy, though, mm. you know, wherever I go, whenever I perform, people mm. always, when they think about Young Talent Time over the years, they and they think about the stars of Young Talent mm. Time, they talk about Danny Minogue, mm -hmm. Tina Arena, yeah. Debbie Byrne and mm -hmm. Jamie Redford, mm -hmm. they're the big names. Yeah. What's it like being married to this superstar? Well, I don't look at him like that. Don't you? <laughs> no, I don't. I mean, I know what he's done and all the rest of it, but I, I don't know. I never really looked at him like that. Is he but, a good hubby? Yeah, he's a very good hubby. Yeah, good man. Mom. And a good dad? Yep, Mom. very good dad. And he's got the oh, listen, see, very it? good. Yeah. Yep, all and, around. And is it? Does he? Does he take the kids for personal lessons? Does he? Oh, they get <laughs> the odd lesson, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> Are you can, I mean, okay. your your experiences mm. in entertainment started so young. Would you encourage your kids to go into show business if they? I, to do I it? think I would. I mean, I mean, you know, you know yourself. There are sort of uh, pitfalls in every industry that you're, you're in, and mm. you've got to sort of have the experience which we mm. have 